Castlevania Season 1 review. So, Castlevania is based on the video game series of the same name, and it follows Trevor Belmont of the Belmont family clan um, as he tries to defeat Dracula's evil forces as they ravage the land of uh, Wallachia in Romania. It's a real place. I looked it up on Google Maps. It exists. I don't know what it is, if it's like a province or whatever, but I digress. Um, so, Trevor, he's kind of like an outcast, you know, but I know I know what you're thinking. It's not like that generic of a character. He's not just like, oh, I'm the, back, I'm the guy who's like different than everybody else or whatever, you know. It's, it's actually quite good. The show is, and... The first season is actually very short, only four episodes, but I'm going to try to uh, lay it out for you and tell you what what's good and what's bad. Um, first off, I want to say the pacing. The pacing is actually surprisingly good. There's only four episodes, but they get a lot done, and it doesn't ever seem like rushed, and it doesn't ever seem slow. Um, now that the more seasons are out, it uh, helps with the waiting process when you're done with the season, because you can just skip to the next one, right? Um, so I think that makes it better and overall improves the quality. Uh, cause back when you were waiting for another season, that seemed like a very short amount. It's kind of like a, like a pilot episode, but instead of just getting one, you get four and then you wait for the actual seasons to come out. Um, but the show is actually very good. The animation style, it's an animated show. If I hadn't mentioned that already, the animation style is superb in the animation um, itself is very good. Um, the, uh, the coloring and the lighting, it takes a little bit of time to get used to. There's a lot of, uh, I guess like purplish reds and reddish orange and yellows and just deep dark reds, kind of like the color of like, um, blood in anime, I would say. So it's very, it's a very deep, dark, uh, kind of like pomegranate red. And there's a lot, that's like a lot of the color palette. So that's like the presentation. The presentation is very good. And I want to say the acting. The acting is actually really good as well. The voice acting, because it's animated, um, and it's, it's very good. <laughs> um, characters are like, you know, it, I love it when animated characters have more expression via their voice actors than actual live action characters do in some lesser TV shows when they're portrayed by lesser actors. The acting in this is very good. Richard Armitage plays Trevor Belmont, the main character, and he is uh, very, very good in this role. Um, and so I want to talk about Dracula himself. Dracula, the best villains, I've always said uh, to myself and to my friends, the best villains are the kind of villains that you can relate to. They're not just like, they're not evil because, you know, they want to be evil. And Dracula, you it's established in the first episode before you even meet Trevor Belmont. Uh, you meet Dracula and you get his um, his point of view and his side of things. And why is he unleashing his undead army of demons and everything like that. So it's um, Dracula is a very, very good villain. And I highly recommend this show uh, based on Dracula alone, I, I, you know, and then having Trevor Belmont as the, as the actual main character, that's like, you know, it's just icing on the cake, really. Um, the whole first episode really is basically Dracula's introduction. And like I said earlier with the, with the pacing, the pacing is very, very good. Um, because you never feel like you're sluggish in the, while you're watching this, you never feel like it's moving too slow. You never feel like it's going too fast either. And it's only four episodes, so they get a surprising amount done without uh, pacing issues in the four episodes that they were given. And so overall, I want to say that the action is good. The voice acting is good. There's some humor in there. That's pretty good. It didn't always hit for me, the humor. But... Uh, when it did, it was like, it was really good. But mostly this is a an adult, serious, um, animated show. It's not really an anime, I don't want to say, because anime has, like, anime tropes and everything like that. This really doesn't. This is more like a, a TV show that happens to be animated, and it's a really, really good animation. 
So I want to say that Castlevania Season 1 from me gets an A. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you like this review, you can like and subscribe, because that's what everybody says at the end of their videos. <laughs> anyway, have a good day. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.